this war has already been a strategic failure for Russia, already. <laughs> Having lost children myself, I know that's no solace to the people who've lost family. But he, Putin, thought Ukrainians would roll over and not fight. Not much of a student of history. Instead, Russian forces have met their match with brave and stiff Ukrainian resistance. Rather than breaking Ukrainian resolve, Russia's brutal tactics have strengthened the resolve. Rather than driving NATO apart, the West is now stronger and more united than it has ever been. Russia wanted less of a NATO presence on its border, but now he has a stronger presence, a larger presence, with over 100,000 American troops here, along with all the other members of NATO. In fact, Bush has managed to cause something I'm sure he never intended. The democracies of the world are revitalized with purpose and unity found in months that we've once taken years to accomplish. It's not only Russia's actions in Ukraine they're reminding us of democracy's blessing. It's our own country, his own country, the Kremlin. It's jailing protesters. 200,000 people have allegedly already left. There's a brain drain leaving Russia, shutting down independent news. State media is all propaganda, blocking the image of civilian targets, mass graves, starvation tactics of the Russian forces in Ukraine. Is there any wonder, as I said, that 200,000 Russians have all left their country in one month? 